Could there be intelligent life on Proxima Centauri B? Does intelligent alien life only mean super advanced aliens? I mean, they could also be in their medieval ages or something like that. A good question. So let's so what is Proxima Centauri B? So the uh, nearest star system to our own is the Proxima Centauri Alpha Centauri. It is that star system. It's about four light years away from here, four, four and a half light years away from our solar system. And they have recently discovered a planet. I mean, there's a number of planets there, exoplanets around this star system. I think it's a triple star system. It's three stars okay, in this system. Some, you usually, usually have a single star like the sun. Sometimes you have a double star system. Uh, but in the case of the Proxima Centauri system, there are three stars in the system. And you have a bunch of planets around them. And one of these planets is Proxima Centauri b. So it is in orbit around the main parent star, which is a red dwarf. Now this main star is a very small, very cool, very dim star. It's a red dwarf. It is about 10% of the mass of the sun, roughly. And uh, this exoplanet is in the habitable zone. It's about 20 times closer to this to its star than we are to our sun, right? So that's the thing. And this exoplanet is about is slightly larger in mass than the Earth. It's between 1.2, it's between 1.2 and 3 Earth masses. So now we don't exactly know what are the conditions on this planet. It is in the habitable zone, which means that if that running water would be available there if there is actually indeed any water on the planet. Now, there are certain things that we need to know further. Are the, is this planet tidally locked with the star? So what is tidal locking? It's like the Earth-Moon system. The uh, time that it takes for the moon to rotate on its axis is the time that it takes to revolve around the Earth. So one rotation is exactly equal to one revolution. And that's why it is tidally locked with the Earth and we only see one face of the moon, right? So this is something that happens over time in, this, in such systems. So in case this planet Proxima Centauri b is tidally locked with its parent star, then one side of this planet would be permanently facing that star and the other side would be permanently in darkness. In that case, you would have a very strange scenario in which in which half the planet is very is hot and half the planet is freezing. So that would not be conducive to life on the planet. The other thing is that it's very close to the star and therefore solar flares from its parent star may be a uh, may be a threat to any possible life on that planet, unless it has a strong magnetic field, in which case these solar flares, stellar flares would not be that much of a problem. So there are a number of uh, situations, circumstances, parameters that we need to know before we can tell whether there is life or not on this planet. Uh, does intelligent life mean only super advanced aliens? Not at all. Uh, Intelligent life, I mean, I would consider even a dog or a cat or a dolphin or a whale to be reasonably intelligent, right? I mean, we can communicate with dogs and cats. They are different kinds of animals. I mean, even whales, we can communicate with whales. They seem to have uh, intelligence, reasonably good intelligence. They even seem to have emotions. Many animals do. So there are different levels of intelligence and different levels of consciousness. So I would not say that only super intelligent alien, uh, aliens would would be would uh, constitute intelligent life. I mean uh, 500 years ago this world our planet was in <laughs> a very different condition right and still it was our intelligence level was very much the same. So yes the, if if there are intelligent beings somewhere then it could be that the it could it's very possible that they could be in the medieval ages or something like that and they may not have the kind of technology that we have today it is possible